hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with my first impression of the waiting room palette from Melt. This was the Melt and Beetlejuice collab. I've done a first impression with the recently deceased, I can leave it up here. And I have been so excited for this palette. I love Beetlejuice. So this is the waiting room and this is the red darker palette and I don't know if how much I should talk about the palette but you open the palette like this and one thing that I love that Melt has done the little like slips the plastic in the palette is a scene from the, from the movie I think that is such a nice detail and the palette looks like this so this has more shades than the recently deceased and this is the red grayish palette and i don't know <laughs> what i want to do i have no idea actually i want i'm not going to test all the shades in my first impression with the recently deceased i did two different eyes i do not want to do that today or do I? No, but I at least want to try some of the shimmers. And I think I want to try the black one. So this one, just to see how it looks. So yeah, I'm going to prime my eyes and then we can get started with my first impression. And okay, I hope the lighting is uh, good and my eyeshadow base is on. And maybe I should have made some thoughts <laughs> what I want to do but I think I want to use this Olivia this shade at least and maybe okay I think I will do something super simple easy red and now Astrid is cleaning herself so I'm going to start with Obitatory? Obitatory. I don't. Um, no. So I'm going to take this in my crease and we'll see how dark this is. This might be. Yeah, okay. Uh, this was really dark. But it works. But if this is really dark, I wonder how this no exit is then because that looks so dark and i think this palette i think the recently deceased palette looks so much cooler and more fun so that's why i used it first and i think that that really like if you think of bill use the recently deceased or like the colors you think of uh, I know this is inspired by the waiting room. If you don't have seen build use, you don't get that. And I'm not going to sit here and explain. But I don't know if this was like... I think the other one is the star of the show, the other palette. Maybe it's just my opinion. This was a really dark shade. It worked really good to blend out, so that is good. Don't know though if I think this is super. Maybe okay. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know if I am myself today. I am so. I don't know, I'm not tired, I'm just... Okay, so far, so good. It's now I have no idea what I want to do. Maybe I should swatch the shimmers. So I think for my lid, not... I, I really wanted to use this Lilia, but I actually think I want to take Saw Gold and Dante's Inferno and take them on my lid. So I will just start with... Dante's Inferno, the darker one, and take it just a little bit out here, 
but it still feels like I want to test out the black one so maybe I will deepen it down okay we will see now how is this okay this is good <laughs> it's sticking on my eye that's always good okay maybe something like this it's like an easy little I don't know and then I go in with sword girl and take it on the rest and this brush picked up a lot Ooh. this was an interesting color and I hope that these two will go together and also go together with my shade in my crease the shadows like the shadows are really good like they are good on the eye they look good i can blend them together i can blend them up in my crease so that is really good and yeah maybe not the most fun but it's working and I will do the same thing on the other eye. Almost took the wrong shade. Uh, this is the thing I'm always worried about when it comes to a melt that the shimmers are going to be a disaster. But so far, <laughs> this feels good. So maybe they finally like know what to do. And I don't know if that is a good thing because then I might want to buy more palettes from Melt. Okay, I don't know if I'm super thrilled of what I did in the crease in there on that eye. Sometimes it's just like I don't know how to put down a crease color. Which feels a little bit strange, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I I really do like this. So I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and just blend the crease a little bit, especially like in here because I don't know what I did in there. But yeah, something like this on my lids. So I am going to take away the fallouts and fix my base and then I actually think I want to try because I swatched this a little bit it feels more like a topper shade so I want to take that maybe in my inner corners and yeah I don't think I want to take any more of the grays because gray is not my favorite but yeah maybe I should I want to take the black but I think we I'm not going to do that so I'm going to fix my base and then I'll come back Time for unrise, and I think I just want to. I don't know. I think I will take the one that I had in my crease and try to have it on my lower lash, and I really want to tap this off because I, this, this was kind of dark, and I do not want like super super dark. Under eyes, or do I? I might want. <laughs> I might want that. I think this works good. And always when I have something like this dark, I don't know if I want to have something dark in my wash line as well, or is is, or if I want something. A little bit more fun and I don't know what happened in here maybe it's not just my makeup day today it could be okay so for the inner corner I want to take you know this one and just pop it in there and I am going to take my pinky we will see how this look Maybe this just gives, I don't know, wait, 
this was good. Because this really feels most like a topper. I think if you might have a glitter glue and really like pack it on, I, I guess it will be a bit more opaque. But yeah. I don't know. But okay, I like this eye look. I just need my mascara and something in my wash line on as well. So I'm going to fix that and then I'm going to take a lippy to this. And because I have red eyeshadow, I don't think I'm going to take a red lip. I think I think I don't know <laughs> what I want to take on my lips. So I will try to figure that out and come back with the finished look. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Snatch from NYX, it's Vivid Brights. For my lips I used Departure from Lethal and then I actually used a little gloss. This is from Kaleidos, this is Hypnotize, so I dabbed it over. And I like this look, but I like the look more that I did with the recently deceased. The waiting room palette, I don't think it is that special. I like it because the shadows I've tried, they worked really good. I'm always so nervous when it comes to melt. The shadows I tried was good, so nothing wrong with that, but I don't feel that this palette is as special as the recently deceased, but I still like it. So, yeah, that was all for this video. I hope that you liked it. I am feeling a little bit, I don't know, out of balance maybe. I don't know. So I really hope you liked this video. I'm sorry if I felt a little bit, I don't know, I'm just... A little bit confused today that's all but yeah i really hope you liked this video and i hope that i will see you again tomorrow because i'm trying to upload each and every day now in december i'm so sick and tired of myself for saying that in every video but yeah i really hope i will see you tomorrow bye